First, let me congratulate Jamila for this recognition. We're humbled by her years of service. Some of you may know that she was a finalist five years ago, and so we've had a chance to meet her in the past. She's joined us at one of these, or two of these events, and it's a really incredible privilege. It's too bad that she couldn't join us despite heroic efforts by many people, including some in the room, to get her to be able to travel so we could have all three finalists here. But we're very, very uh, thankful for her life of work and what she'll be able to do going forward. Um, you heard already, so I'll keep this part short, that there is the, the way the prize works is that there's a million dollars of which a, a portion goes to the laureate, about $100,000. In addition to that, we have the, the custom, the tradition to also award uh, individually $25,000 uh, uh, awards to the two other finalists, so they will be able to use that to support their work. I just want to make sure everybody understands that. And then we also just noted that there will be a special uh, a portion of this attributed to a current large and overlooked crisis, which in this year uh, is taking place in Yemen. And so we're very grateful to our colleagues at UNHCR for the work they do, but we look forward to having impact in as many places as we can, Afghanistan as well as Yemen. Thank you very much.